Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we will learn how to get Anaconda installed and I'm showing you some terminal commands to deal with Anaconda. So first of all, let us install Anaconda. Open up your browser and type in anaconda.com. After that, click on get started and pick install Anaconda individual edition. Scroll all the way down and now, dependent on your operating system, you are picking the graphical installer here, this. So if you are picking this, this is being downloaded here, right? And while that is, I'm showing you some terminal commands as you will understand the following steps even better or actually understand at all what's happening here. Let's make this a bit. So I think you could see this now, right? So what is happening here? Well, I'm in my MacBook, right? And I'm in my user folder algo wipes here. Now, if I want to access a certain folder, for example, then I'm using the command cd and then I'm picking desktop, for example, and now I'm in my desktop with this terminal. And with this terminal, I can perform several tasks. For example, making a folder with mkdir for make directory, and I could name it algo. And now a folder is being created in the desktop folder, which is here, algo. Okay? Now, if I want to go back to my user folder, I'm typing in cd, just if you are interested, cd and the tilde here, and I'm back in my user folder. This command line here will change once you have installed Anaconda. And I was confused in the beginning, why is that? And this is why I'm covering that also in this tutorial. So let's check if Anaconda got installed. And we got like nine seconds. So I could tell you a story of my life, but I'm just filling this with some BS talk here. So this is installed now. So this is not installed, this is downloaded now. So let's install that. And just follow the commands here. Continue, read everything of course, continue, continue. Agree to everything, what is going on. And then install for me only, okay? You could also install on a specific disk, but why should you? So this is the case, this is the normal case, okay? So this is install for me only. So this will take 400 MB, okay? Install it. After you're seeing this screen here, Anaconda and JetBrains, you have successfully installed Anaconda. So we are continuing here and closing this window. Now let's take a look at our terminal again. And what we are noticing here is that we have this base in front of our username. What does that mean? That tells us that we are in the virtual environment base in Anaconda. So we could perform Anaconda specific commands here. For example, Anaconda minus navigator. And what's opening now is the, if you want to call it like this, user interface of Anaconda. So let's take a quick look at that, even though it's not that important in my opinion. What we are seeing here is that Jupyter Notebook, for example, is already installed and you could directly launch it here. Already installed also is Spider, you could directly launch it here. More important is this base here, which is telling us that we are in the environment base here. And if we are taking a deeper look at that, we can see all installed packages or libraries for this environment base, okay? So we have only one environment here until now. So let's actually close that. And let's take one more example. We could also directly open up specific IDEs such as Jupyter Notebooks by just typing in Jupyter Notebook here. So now Jupyter Notebook is being opened up and, and so on and so forth, okay? So let's actually terminate that and open up a new one. Now, what if I want to exit this environment? So I want to be in my environment, which I were before I installed Anaconda. Well, you could just type in Conda deactivate here. And now you notice that you are in the default user folder here again, right? So you're not moving in the Anaconda environment. And what is important to understand now is if we are performing the same commands as before, for example, the Anaconda navigator, this won't work because we are not moving in the base environment anymore. 
where this Anaconda Navigator is being launched. Or another example would be Jupyter Notebook. Won't work, right? So you have to be in this Conda environment. So let's get actually back in there by just typing in Conda Activate. And now we are back in the base environment of Anaconda. Now let's take a look at creating new environments. First question is, why should we create new environments? Well, one answer is that you want to work with other Python versions, for example. So right now we are working with Python 3. something. But I want to create a virtual environment with Python 2. Point, let's say 7. So let's do that. Let's create a new environment by typing in corner create minus n and let's name this environment. Let's just name it algo python2. And then you have to specify python equals 2 and let's take 2.7 here. And if we're executing that, some stuff is done and you have to proceed here and you see that some new packages are being installed and after some seconds you are getting this confirmation here that the new environment has been created. How can we activate this new environment? By just typing in as we see here, conda activate and let's activate AO Python 2. What's important to understand now is that this environment is empty or nearly empty. We can by the way check that by typing in conda list and we're getting an overview of the installed packages for this specific environment. We're just seeing stuff like SQLite here or Python and stuff like that. So if you type in Jupyter Notebook now, of course, this will not work because Jupyter Notebook is not installed in this environment. You have to install the packages in this environment now by typing in conda install and then the package name. Okay, so last thing to get an overview of all your environments, if you created some, if you need that, you are typing in conda info and then amps. And now we see that we have the base environment where we have many, many packets installed by default by Anaconda. And we have those new, this new created environment, Algo Python 2, where Python 2 is installed. By the way, this star is telling you in which environment you are moving. By the way, this one does that too. So let's do a quick switch in the end. So let's activate base again. And let's perform this command again, conder info amps. And as you see now, the star is at base here, right? Yeah, and that's pretty much it for the beginning for basic commands in Anaconda. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you a nice overview of what you can do. I will link some additional commands in the video description. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have problems, please drop me a comment. I'm really happy to help out. I thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye bye.